Hello everyone, my name is Shane and welcome to Braveheart Poker. Uh, big thanks to Fuji and Tony for the awesome nickname. Um, I am not a professional poker player, but I am an avid recreational player and uh, I play as often as I can. I got into playing poker about 10 years ago. I, I won a, an MWR recreational poker tournament when I was in Afghanistan and that's where I kind of learned how to play. Um, when I got home, I found a local card room in my hometown of Chico, California and uh, played a couple live sessions and I think in my first two days I made 18 or 1900 dollars and I thought, oh man, this is easy. I can do this all the time. I don't have to get a regular job. Uh, and over the course of the next couple months, I, I learned a little bit more about what poker is about and uh, I realized how lucky I'd been those first couple sessions because I, I essentially didn't really know anything. Um, um, but we've come a long way in 10 years and, uh, now I'm at a point where I can, uh, start a poker vlog and hopefully with all of your help, I can be doing this for a long time. Uh, so thanks to everybody who is watching. Um, this first vlog is pretty short, doesn't have a whole lot of content, um, cause I didn't know that I'd be, um, recording on that particular day. Um, so I just, uh, just had my phone and, and played a short session. Um, the game that we're about to go over, um, we were playing a mixed game between short deck and double board no limit hold'em. Um, so it's a little bit different. We alternated every half an hour, and I only played for an hour and a half. Um, so there's not a whole lot of hands to go over, um, but I did find you know enough in there to uh, to make the first vlog, and we get to uh, play against. Um, some very interesting people, and there are certainly some interesting situations um, that y'all will find out about in the very near future. So uh, uh, let's get into it. All right, so here we are um, at Casino Chico in Chico, California. There was a the entryway, and there's a patio off to the side there, um, which is nice. Inside uh, the first room here, there's a couple pool tables and some cow games and the bar. Um, as you walk into the right here, you've got three poker tables in this room. Um, the chairs here are super nice, they're lazy boys, um, super comfortable. Um, when you lean back in them, the lumbar support goes away, and when you sit back up, the lumbar support comes back. So, uh, um, you know, I like, I like being in comfort, so um, these are super nice. Um, this pot here I'm not involved in. Um, but it was either the first or second pot of of the evening and there was a three-way all-in and you'll be able to see here in a moment um, that the player in seat one right across the table um, with the biggest chip stack um, he got it all in with a 9-10 offsuit uh, and he did not win the pot um, the person right next to me in seat four uh, had the ace of spades and we're playing short deck here um, and the ace of spades uh, won the whole thing. See the other guy, the king of spades. Um, so he just got uh, came up just short. Um, so uh, the person in seat one was uh, Miles Rampell, who was the winner of event number nine at the Poker Masters in 2021. Um, so he's he's a bit of a celebrity for for this session for sure. Um, and he he likes to play in pots. Uh, he likes to have a good time, so uh, you're gonna you're gonna see a lot from him. And the reason why that uh, that clip was in there in the first place is because the very next hand he only had about 200 left, and he just uh, open jammed it, and everyone folded. And then the very next hand after that, um, he had 220 in stack and went all in. Um, it folded around to me. I already had 20 out there, and uh, I had King 10 suited. And uh, so I essentially just uh, essentially just made the snap call because he was he was jamming I think with pretty much any two cards. Uh, I think his intention was just to rebuy. Um, so it comes back around to me, and that's when I make the call. He just jammed there, and then I called. Um, so we're about to see a run out for our first uh, first hand of the vlog. Lucky enough to turn a pair there and uh, show it. Announce that I have two pair, and here in a second he just mucks his cards. And we we beat Miles in. In this next hand we have uh, Ace Queen offsuit. 
Um, we're on the button and um, gets raised to 20. Uh, there's four people in the pot. And uh, I'm not super familiar with short deck, um, so I'm planning on playing a pretty nitty. I'm also not familiar with moving my hand out of the way of the camera. Um, <laughs> uh, we're, we're learning as we go for sure here. Um, but uh, four players see the flop of uh, Ace-8-9. And uh, um, it checks around to me, and I bet $25. And uh, the small blind check raises to $75. Uh, everyone folds, and it gets back around to me. Uh, this here, uh, you'll see Miles um, telling me that I should build a tunnel so that I can view my cards without... Uh, the other players seeing it. I accidentally almost exposed my hand, so uh, everyone's having a good time and trying to help me out here. Um, I, I make the call for for 75 total, um, mostly because um, I'm not sure exactly um, what the right thing to do here is. Um, and uh, like I said, I'm playing pretty nitty, so I'm not raising or anything like that, and I wanna have Pretty premium hands um, when I'm when I'm raising, uh, especially when I'm kind of learning short deck. Uh, the turn is a jack of diamonds, uh, puts two to the flush out there. Flushes are hard to get in short deck, so um, he bets out a hundred, and I just make uh, make a fold here. Um, he uh, he was nice enough to show that he had uh, flopped the nuts. He had six seven. Uh, and flopped a straight. So uh, it was a good fold by me. Um, just a little apprehensive about uh, whether or not, or what I should have done there. Um, in this hand here, um, you're about to hear some some commentary from Miles. Miles raises it to uh, 105, and there's some talk about me getting in on the action, so I make a loose call with Jack-Queen offsuit. Um, and two players call behind. Here's some, some call. I need a bunch of SD cards or whatever. Everybody called? Hold on. I made a big great one of five. Yeah, we all called. Yeah. Everybody called? Call? Yeah, oh, it's, 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 it's ten. I called. It's ten hand on you. I didn't Four call. hands. So there's like, you know. <laughs> you all called? Yeah. yeah. Call guys, call guys. Okay, okay, check. Bye. You got so here um, it checks to me and I, I want to bet on this 7-9 uh, queen, two spades flop. Uh, flop top pair and I have a feeling that everyone's gonna fold behind me. Here is some uh, Some talk at the table. Uh, please, please it's pretty in interesting. Place. I know you can do it. What's that? Can you please put him in his place. I can't do it. You no, can't. you can't put him you in his place. You little piece of shit. You're lucky we lady. You walk in this place. You oh. suck a oh. maggot. That's you it. turn around and you say thank you. Thank you for letting me walk in the building. What the is wrong with you? Right, you yeah, piece yeah. of <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, I bet $375. Uh, I had a pretty strong feeling that the two players behind me were going to fold, which they did. I'll go into the commentary uh, that you just heard uh, here in a minute. But um, uh, So I make the, the 375 bet. Uh, Miles, who uh, gets back around to him, and he says he wants to gamble. So he shoves all in for 580 I have 585 in my stack, so here in a second you'll see that uh, that he jams, and there's just no way I'm gonna fold for uh, you know a couple hundred more, you know, in this this size pot. So I just toss in the call, and uh, we go to run out, uh, which is which is good. Um, we end up with a straight, and uh, he had actually turned us. He had two pair on the turn, and then we re got there. On the, on the river, he had seven, ten. Um, so I turned to ten of spades, and we got lucky, and we uh, we more than double up. Um, so that was nice. Here's some commentary about uh, about the way things are done here at so Casino what, Chico. We'll differentiate your block and everybody else's is how we abuse each other here. Right? We we you know most card rooms. Tell you to keep the tone down, yeah, don't criticize sure other players. Here we like to actually yeah. abuse players. When they lose, we like to laugh at no them. Rules. Yeah. We have no rules. So, uh, things are done a little bit differently here. Uh, a little bit different from, from most card rooms. Uh, here in this hand, we have pocket threes. Um, we were heads up. He checked the flop. I bet he folded. Um, here they're on a double board. Um, so, so yeah, uh, Players get slow rolled here, and 
You get laughed at, made fun of, yelled at, and it's all it's all fun. It's uh, it's not in any way to to actually uh, to be hateful or disrespectful. They just they like to have a good time. It's more like a uh, a pennies and dimes game, you know, at home, and you know, you, you river quad aces and you slow roll your friend for you know a dollar pot or something like that. You know, it's just you know they're doing the same thing here, um, you know, just for for pots that are that are really really big uh, sometimes. Uh, so it's it's a different atmosphere for sure. Uh, in the hand that we just went through, uh, not a whole lot of action. We had Ace King, we folded it. Uh, you know, Ford was straight on board. Um, in this hand, we've got uh, Ace Queen off, and uh, we flop top pair again um, on a Ace Ten Ten board. We make a. Uh, we make a call on the flop and, and on the turn as a jack of diamonds. And there's there's another bet. We just we fold it. Um, nothing really to do here. Like I said, we're playing pretty nitty. Um, I when I fold, I show that I made maybe a nitty fold. The uh, the player to my left, uh, who was the same player last time we had ace queen, uh, showed again for us for the vlog. Um, shows that he had flopped trip tens. So he was, he was in pretty good shape. Uh, in this one here, we're doing a bomb pot, a double board uh, bomb pot um, for the dealer change. And we've got king eight. And uh, we flop a pair on one board and we don't flop anything on the other board. Uh, it checks around. Uh, the pot is, is 100, 120 something, I believe. And uh, on the turn, uh, we get a second pair up top. We get a king on the turn. And... Uh, uh, one player bets 45. We call the 45. Um, essentially, just having one board locked up. Um, we're expecting a chop here most of the time. Um, on the river, it goes check, check. He shows that he had king seven, which was run, runner, two pair on the top board. And uh, king high on the second board is going to chop the second board. So we win with a better two pair up top, and we chop the second, so we quartered him. Uh, so here in this one we have pocket tens, uh, four ways to the flop of uh, $10 each. Um, on a uh, six, seven, nine flop, we flopped ourselves a gut shot and an over pair. Um, one player bets, uh, pretty large, and uh, we just fold. And there's some table talk afterwards. I show my hand, said I had an over pair, and uh, you know somebody said that short deck for you. You know it's uh, you need a pretty good hand in order to continue most of the time here. Um, so uh, he ends up showing uh, ace eight or telling us he has ace eight. So we would have needed an eight for for a win. Uh, so good fold on our part. Um, just playing, you know, a little bit slow. Um, this next hand we're playing against Miles, and uh, we have queen nine here, and it cuts in late. I recorded late, um, but we got some money in on the turn, and it goes check check on the river. We have trip queens here. I, I show it. He's just like, oh yeah, you're good. I don't have anything. Uh, so we win. Last last hand. Well, that's it. Poker vlog number one in the books. Thank you so much for watching this far. Uh, thank you to all the folks that I played with in the poker vlog. Everyone had such a great attitude and everyone was really trying to help me out. And I really, really appreciate that. And I appreciate Casino Chico for, for allowing me to vlog. Uh, so thank you to you guys too. Um, I have learned so much over the last couple days on what it takes to make a poker vlog and how much time and effort goes into it and I'm very humbled by that. I watch uh, five or more poker vloggers uh, anytime that they put out content and uh, I appreciate those guys so much um, for, for all the great content they've put out. Um, I've learned a lot about what I need to do in the future um, to to fix some of my quality issues. I'm sure that there are a lot of, uh, of things that I, I'm gonna be able to fix right away. I almost scrapped everything that I had already done uh, just because by the time I was done with the video, I had learned so much and, and thought I could make it so much better, uh, but it just seemed um, like a waste to, to get rid of all the editing that I'd already done and start over. So I decided to leave it in there as sort of a uh, um, progress, uh, uh, tracker so you can see see the progress that I make in the editing side of it. Um, I imagine that the next video will, will be a lot better. Um, the next video will be uh, No Limit Texas Hold'em. It'll be a lot more in my wheelhouse. 
you'll get a lot more into the dynamics of the game and some strategy and thought processes. Um, so look forward to that. I'm, I'm super excited just, just to film it and get into it. Uh, now that I've got a little bit of knowledge on what I need to do and how I can make things better. So I'm very excited to make more content for you guys. And uh, once again, thank you guys for watching. And uh, my son watches a lot of uh, YouTube videos and he is going to do uh, my sign off. So thank you guys very much. Have a good day. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Braveheart Poker. <laughs>